You might have heard that you can boost your Wi-Fi speed and reliability by combining it with your cellular using Speedify. It's true, but when you do this, how do you make sure that Speedify doesn't end up using too much cellular data? Speedify can help with that, and let me show you how. It's pretty simple. On your iPhone, make sure you've got both Wi-Fi and cellular. And I assume you already have Speedify installed. If not, go to speedify.com slash download and get it. So, once you're running Speedify, connect to a server by clicking the little switch at the top, and you'll see Speedify immediately sees and uses both the Wi-Fi and the cellular connections. So now tap the cellular, and when you scroll down, you can see data caps. They're both daily and monthly. I'll set a daily cap here. So you click the toggle to turn it on, and it asks you how much data. So I'm setting it to 150 megabytes a day as the most it can use. And then underneath, the over limit behavior decides what happens when you hit the data cap. You can either stop using the connection or you can set a rate limit. Like, oh, limit yourself to only five megabits once you hit that cap of data. So the cellular still works, but it really slows down when I hit the cap. So I'm not knocked offline, but I'm not using too much cellular. These data limits are now even more useful with pair and share, which allow you to wirelessly connect even more cellular connections. And you can set these limits on any device. Just pair the phone to a computer and on the computer, do the same steps to set a data limit for the pair and share connection. That's it. Now you won't need to worry about running out of data. If you like this, Check out our other video about connection priorities because it will help you control how your connections are used and more.